But uh, you know, like we're always trying to like work on things in the training and playing with stuff. And uh, one of the things I kind of went back to right now, uh, because I like to play feet on the bicep a lot, um, is playing feet in the lapel, uh, but with like a, a special modification, so it's really difficult to get out. Okay, so norm normal like foot on the bicep is really difficult awesome. because maybe their gi is short or maybe their arms are really, really strong and they can pull their elbow to their side. And also they can pass you with this too. This is your control, but they can throw it by and there's a lot of risk here. So you can trade this and what I've been doing is putting my toes like in this little pocket right here, like this, and then I re-lasso the lapel around my shin. So I go here and then I wrap the lapel around my foot and then I'm gonna change my base like this. And so now if Professor starts to like put pressure in or anything, I can push this grip behind his, his arm. You see like now it's like behind his shoulder. So now it's really hard for him to deal with. So the more they go into this, the easier it is to use. Okay? And I, I've been using this with just really simple entries to go underneath. Um, you can use this free leg to hook if he's really far away and just use it to like bring yourself really close and get underneath. Okay? If he's pressuring in like uh, with this knee, like a, go like a knee cut professor, yeah like this. I've been supporting my thigh here and controlling his ankle. And then I start to pull this grip like out over me. So not into me anymore, but I'm gonna bring his weight forward and I'm gonna push the bottom of his foot forward. So I'm going like this. And then this leg is straightening and I can feel it's pushing on his hips and I'm pushing the bottom of his foot so his base starts to break. And then once I see his back, like once I see the back of his legs, I can bail on this and just start going like straight into my crab right here, attacking the back, okay? And then depending on his reaction here uh, would determine what I do next, okay? But it's just like a really nice tool for, for getting underneath, especially if you have really long legs like me or, or Rafael. Um, it's dangerous to put your feet on the biceps sometimes because they throw by one time and then they're, they're like really close to you, you know? So I think this is a little bit safer, okay? So you're just gonna take one side and uh, if you feel in danger at first, I'll angle myself off and I'll kind of cocoon the lapel like this. So that way he can't throw my leg this way and he can't throw my leg that way, right? And now I can start to control the hand in the collar and then put my foot inside like this, like I'm doing like a bow and arrow. And now I can pass it safely, okay? And start to switch my hips here, okay? Um, if you ever feel in danger with this, I always grab above the collar like this. Okay, so this is the control right here. And it's nice if they try to make a grip with this and my, my foot like goes behind his armpit. I haven't found a way to like force it to happen, but say like he grabs my collar with his hand or something like that. If I can push my toes behind his arm, this is the best right here. Okay, just like that. And so now we're just going to practice a really simple scene with it. We're just gonna hook one or the other, just so we can bring ourselves close to his leg and grab the pants. And I'm gonna step on the floor and I'm gonna start to use this just like a spider and bring him over me. And now I'll have both of his ankles. I'll switch, make like a little chair for him here, and then I'll push him down with my shin here. Just like that, okay? Just a really easy uh, sweep, but it'll help you like understand the setup and, and we'll get something more advanced next maybe, okay? See how whenever he goes to this side, I try to put my foot like on this side of the jacket. If he were to go to this or if he were to pass to, to this side and I didn't have anything under here, he would pass me. So that's why this little cocoon is really useful here because I can always follow him no matter where he goes. And my toes are like grabbing like this. So it stays in here, and this makes it safe while you make your transitions. Here. And now I can, one, two, three. See how I'm already hooking his leg, I'm ready to grab. Or if you want it to be a little bit safer, you can double up like this. So I have like a little bit of posture control, and then I can start to look for the ankle. I'm just going here, I step. 
Once I'm underneath, I don't need this anymore. I can go both ankles. I make this little chair right here, like my shin's gonna go across his butt. And then when I drop him down, uh, I'm gonna be able to get up really fast, okay? So I'm here, and see I'm already up on my feet, and I can start to clear the legs and post and back step, okay? We've seen that sweep a lot, I think. We do this one a lot. But this is what I've been playing with lately. That's it. So awesome. Um, do you guys have any questions or anything? The first one? The just the setup or the oh, the the oh you want that one? Okay. So this one, it works exactly the same as if I had like a spider. So if I had spider here and professor was putting pressure, um, this spider grip while I'm doing my inversion, it kind of pulls him forward. See it starts to pull his weight over me. My hand kind of does the same thing, like it's pushing the bottom of his foot over me, here. That's what I want. And now I can start straightening this leg, this one here, and it'll start to angle me. And as soon as I can feel like I can let go of this and go here without him dropping his weight, like I'm behind him, and then I can just start transitioning and attacking the back, okay? So we're just doing that with the lapel instead of the, the uh, foot on the bicep. So I'm here and he tries to knee cut. I, I make sure my reverse delahiva is in. I control the bottom of his foot. And then I'm starting to pull him forward and push the bottom of his foot here. Look how I, like if you look here, I kind of adjust my elbow a little bit. Like it's more underneath him, like I did like this. So now I feel like I can really start to push his weight. Control, and then I start to attack the back. If you want, you can put this hook in and not let this foot touch the ground, and it's gonna be much easier to start to go for the back too, okay? So it's just, just pushing him forward, the bottom of his foot. So you're literally grabbing like this part and, and pushing, 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 and then you're using the spider, and I'm actually pulling the lapel out and then using my foot to open too. So it's kinda like, like Professor wants to be settled back, but I'm like bringing him forward and making him wanna like step over me, okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Yes? The carpet? The carpet? The armpit? The armpit. Carpet too for some people, yeah. Uh, oh, like a... Like ankle lock. Uh, well, I, I think uh, in the gi, um, in the gi it's difficult because there's so much friction. Like as soon as I feel he starts to attack the ankle lock, I can, I can like follow him up. I feel like, I don't feel very in danger. I feel his foot is protected, it's hard for me to protect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that, so even if it's zero, I don't feel like. Yeah. I feel I have no leverage to do that, yeah. yeah. Play, play around with it. You'll, you'll feel what I'm talking about it. It doesn't feel very dangerous for the ankle lock, you know? So that's a good question. You guys have any other questions? Everybody clear on how we're setting it up? Okay. The whole, you just show the whole thing? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll show both. Just a good kick. Yeah, <laughs> selling it, professor. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's try that. One, two, three.